A metabolic acidosis is defined as a pH less than 7.35, with a primary decrease in bicarbonate ion, resulting in a compensatory hyperventilation response. There are two general types of metabolic acidosis, a high anion gap metabolic acidosis and a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, each with their own unique set of causes. The way I remembered these were using the mnemonics mud piles for causes of high anion gap metabolic acidosis and hard ass for causes of normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, and these seem to cover the majority of cases, at least those commonly seen on tests and exams. So when the anion gap is greater than 12 milliequivalents per liter, we say that this is a high or elevated anion gap, and we start to think about mud piles. This stands for methanol, uremia, diabetic ketoacidosis, or sometimes alcoholic ketoacidosis, propylene glycol, isoniazid, iron, lactic acidosis, ethylene glycol, and salicylates. And when the anion gap falls within a normal range between 8 to 12, we think about a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis and think about hard ass, that is, hyperchloremia, or hyperalimentation, Addison's disease, renal tubular acidosis, diarrhea, acetazolamide, spironolactone, and finally saline infusions. So that's it. These are the mnemonics that helped me when I was a medical student to help me remember the causes of metabolic acidosis. If you had another trick, or have used other ones in the past, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys came up with. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell, and we'll let you know when we come up with new tips, tricks, and study hacks.